Their fifth straight win. Down three zip to the Cubs in the sixth. One on for Britt Boone. Kind of just golfs it out there against Steve Traxel. It's over the wall. Three two Cubs now. Jeff Branson would add a back to back homer. We're nice tied in the, the 10th. Mark Grace against Xavier Hernandez. And Grace does the job for Chicago. Put Chicago in the lead five to three. Is it a safe lead? Bottom of the 10th, Ron Gant up with Larkin on first. Randy Myers on for the Cubs. Gant has four extra inning homers. He's a threat. We all know that, but he grounds into the five, four, three double play. Fred's not done yet. You know this team. Four batters later was five, four runners on the corners. Brett Boone again, this time the opposite way. Off of Randy Myers. That won it. He gets a high five from Ray Knight and Randy Myers and the Cubs lose their seven straight. 7-5, the final. Ray Knight wasn't the only guy jumping for joy. The usually mellow red skipper Davey Johnson said, I was like Rocky, raising my fists in the air. This was top of the first. McDowell already retired the first two, then gets Will Clark. Six Ks, he went six, allowed seven hits, did McDowell. Bottom of the first, Luis Polonia against Roger Pavlik. Polonia, one home run coming in, make it two. It was three nothing after one for the Yankees. Top of the second, look out, Polonia on defense. Yikes, misplays the Benji Gill fly. Two runs score on the error. Bottom six, the Yanks up 5-4, one on for Don Mattingly. So much for his lack of power. Mattingly shutting up some of the local media with that shot. A off lefty Terry Burrows, his third of the year, 7-4 Yanks fans saluting the Yankee captain on cap day. Even the scooter is thrilled, and Mattingly takes the curtain call. Yanks win at 11-4. On the overwhelming support by the fans, Mattingly said it was real nice and I'll never forget it. Also homering for the Yanks, Mike Stanley, who along with Boggs, O'Neill, and Bernie Williams had three hits apiece. As for Jack McDowell, he won his eighth and by the Twins. Top of the first, Chuck Knobloch hits one to left. Mike Greenwell, thanks a lot. Knobloch gets second. A hit and an error for the team with the most ease in the AL. Next batter, Rich Becker. Clemens hits him. Ten hits batsmen this year by Clemens. He leads the AL in that category. Next batter, Kirby Puckett right up the middle. You can tell it's bad times for Clemens. Next batter, Matt Marullo, still nobody out. Hitting the breaking ball. Twins got four runs on four hits in the first off, Roger. Pitching coach Al Nipper trying to settle Clemens down. Didn't work because in the second, in trouble again. Two on one out for Marullo. A two-run double. And O'Leary can't get it. Clemens lasting just an inning and a third, giving up eight earned runs, and the Twins win it eight to three. Losing two straight to the Twins wasn't the worst of it for Boston. Roger Clemens was. He had what? Waiting for lunch. Top second, no score. Al Bell, warning track power on Sunday. One of three drives to the wall. Geronimo Barroa brings it in. Mark McGuire on the 15-day DL. Looking menacing. Top four, no score, two outs. Two men aboard. Paul Sorrento, the base hit off Ariel Prieto. Two run score, two nothing Indians. Indian starter Mark Clark would make that lead Stan, facing Stan Javier and getting the whiff. Ricky Henderson, likewise, looking for cheese and getting the whiff. Six and two thirds, five Ks for Clark. The Indians, nothing better to do than have fun with a Hall of Famer. Eddie says somebody's going to pay. Two nothing, your final. The A's have scored a grand total of four runs in Prieto's four major league starts. At bottom of the first, Bichette against Bobby Jones. That's gone. His 17th home run of the year. And yes, they're all coming at home. 3 0 Colorado. Just two batters later, Vinny Castilla, two homers yesterday, make it his third in his last two games. Number 20 on the year for Castilla. Next batter, Ellis Burks, also with a solo shot. He'd have two on the day. Third time the Rocks had three homers in an inning this year. 5 0 Rockies. Rocky fans would see the Mets cut the lead to 8 to 5. Curtis Laskanik with the bases loaded. Ends the threat by striking out Tim Bogar. And the Rockies hang on to win it. Eight to five. Darren Holmes pitched the ninth for his 11th save. Ellis Burke sending a message, perhaps to manager Don Baylor with his two home runs. You see, Burks has been platooning with Mike Kingery in. Turner, best behavior, right? Bottom third. Pop fly by Tim Raines. Kevin Seitzer, he's got it. And Rich Garcia has got Seitzer. Bottom four, one nothing Brewers, two men aboard. Sid Roberson pitching to Lyle Mouton. Gone. Mouton, three-run homer, 3-1 three White Sox. Chicago scored four more in the sixth. They blew it open, and then it got touchy. In the eighth, Sox up 7-2. Kevin Seitzer squares to bunt. Kurt McCaskill, you be the judge. Message pitch? Well, Jamie McAndrew thought so. Bottom of the eighth, Craig Greback, plunk. Greback, 
Walks to first. McAndrew was ejected. Phil Garner didn't even really plead the case because he knew that was a message. 11-6. Jim Abbott gave up two earn, lowering his top 10 ERA to 3.37. After the game, McAndrew got dressed and found out that one of his teammates had written Brew Crew on his dress shirt. <laughs> As a former replacement player, McAndrew said, well, I'm being accepted. Makes a mistake and may make some pay. That's a single. Rickard Fenaita's throw. It's not going to get Craig Biggio. The Astros find a way to win again. This time by the score, three to two. For the Astros, it was their 11th comeback in their last 13 wins. They're tied with Cincy for the most extra inning victories. Oh, by the way, X-Red Deion Sanders didn't play. Giant skipper Dusty Baker says Deion is getting his business straightened out. He's been getting... Top one, two men aboard, two outs, Ken Caminiti, the whiff. The bottom fell out of that one. Brad Osmus freezes him, 10 Ks on the day. Bottom eight, tied at one, bases loaded. Mike Kelly at third. Doug Botchler in for Joey Hamilton. Jeff Blauser, the sack fly. Kelly, the go-ahead run. Two outs, men at the corners, Botchler. Fakes to third and picks off Marquise Grissom, the rare 163, getting out of the inning, giving up one run. Padres with a chance, man at second, one out. Wolers gets Scott Livingstone, Andrew Harcedeno. Braves win by the final of two to one. Atlanta's won 16 of their last 20. Wolers earned his 10th save in 12 opportunities. Phil Plantier went 0 for 4 Sunday, making him 0 for 14 lifetime against John Smoltz. When the Phillies collapsed in 64, the cards were the beneficiary. Jim Fergosi says, what does that have to do with today? Breaking Sorry, ball. nothing. Mike no Mims in for Kurt Schilling, who was scratched due to an guilty. inflamed shoulder, gives up the base hit to Ray Langford. Two nothing cards. Ken Hill couldn't hold the lead. Gone. Nails it. Goodbye. Lenny Phil's lead 3-2. Hill dug himself into a hole. Tied at four. Mariano Duncan, two run double. Now 6-4 Phil's. Next batter, Mickey Morandini. It's mandatory. Whenever you say Mickey Morandini, you do have to say all-star. Hill gave up eight runs and two and two-thirds. Phillies win it by the final of 10-6. Phil's. Well, you see they got defensive help early. Join of the ground ball. Brett Barbary, the grab, and that throws him out. Orioles with offense against Tom Flash Gordon. Rafael Palmero. It's heading Vince Coleman's way. It's heading right over Vince Coleman's head. That scores Greg Zahn and Brady Anderson. The Orioles were up 6-2. Nusina, in the meantime, throwing strikes, getting Tom Goodwin. Nusina went eight, no walks, six Ks. As for Greg Zahn continuing to have a good series, the two-run single, Harold Baines and Kevin Bass come in. Zahn had seven hits and seven RBIs in the series. The Orioles, Orioles hang on to win it 6-2. Gordon 0-4 against the O's at Kauffman Stadium. That's the only team he's never beaten at home. As for Harold Baines, 2 for 4 with a home run, his 13th. And Brett, Brent Maine, 2 for 3. The rest of the team, 4 of 30. The tumbling Tigers in Anaheim, bottom of the first, Angels up 1. That's Garrett Anderson. What a series he's had. The single off Jose Lima, scoring Jim Edmonds. Three hits, four RBIs for Anderson. Edmonds breaks the Angels' record by scoring in 12 straight games. Bottom of the third, two on Tim Salmon. The double off Joe Baver. De Sarcina, Tony Phillips come in to score. It's 8 0. It was 9 0 in the seventh when Jim Edmonds goes deep. A two run blast off Buddy Groom. Number 20 for Edmonds, and it was 13 to 2 the final of this one. Back to Anderson. He killed the Tigers in this series, going 9 for 13. Mark Field had some problems. Top first, 3 2 Expos, one on, two outs. Will Cordero lofting it. Freddie Garcia, I got it, I got it. Jacob Brumfield gets in the way. Segui scores. Expos led 4 2. Top third, 5 2 Expos, two on, two out. And Brumfield has fallen off Jacob's ladder. Expos up 6 2. Segui scores again. Bottom nine, 8 2 Expos, one out. Facero, dare I say, was. And Fuego. Steve Pegues gets the whiff. Sorry, Linda, spitting on you. 8 2, the final. Facero's first complete game of the season, just the third of his career. The Pirates committed almost as many errors as they had hits.